The Schluter Curdy Board Kit is the perfect solution for waterproofing walls and tile applications around bathtubs and acrylic shower bases. It is easy to handle and transport. The kit contains everything you need, all in one convenient package. Let's take a look at what you're getting. Eight pieces of one half inch thick curdy board are included which is enough material to cover a standard surround for a bathtub or an acrylic shower base with eight foot ceilings. The kit can also be used with Schluter prefabricated shower trays. The Curdy Board ZT washers and ZS screws are supplied to fasten the Curdy Board to wood studs. For installations over metal studs, additional self-tapping screws must be purchased separately. You will also find Curdy Band waterproofing strips to seal seams, corners, and fastener penetrations. Curdy Seal MV mixing valve seals and Curdy Seal PS pipe seals are included as well. Both 1 half inch and 3 quarter inch size pipe seals are included. Two cartridges of Curdy Fix sealant are also provided. The Curdy Board kit is quick and easy to install. Please refer to the included instruction sheet and the Shower System Installation Handbook prior to installation. Curdy board can be mounted either vertically or horizontally. The layout may vary depending on what style of tub you are using. For example, if you are using a shorter bathtub, a vertical layout will be most practical. Keep in mind, the vertical edges of each panel must be positioned over the center of a stud or other solid backing. The maximum allowable stud spacing for one half inch thick curdy board is 16 inches on center. Install additional studs or solid backing if required. Measure the area to be covered to determine your curdy board layout prior to cutting the board. Cut the curdy board to size. It is easily cut with a utility knife. We will also measure and cut openings for the pipe protrusions and mixing valve. When curdy board is installed on a bathtub that has a thin flange, the back of the board can be notched to cover it. Leave a one quarter inch wide gap between the curdy board and tub deck. When curdy board is installed above the tub flange, the board can be abutted flush with the flange. Fasten the boards to the wood studs using the included washers and screws. The maximum allowable fastener spacing is 12 inches on center. With the protective film removed from the bathtub, place painter's tape around the tub deck for protection. The tape should be placed closely to the lip of the tub, but not underneath the curdy board. Curdy board is sealed to the bathtub using curdy fix in conjunction with thin set mortar and curdy band. Apply curdy fix to the tub flange and spread using a small notch trowel. Using the curdy trowel or a 1 quarter inch by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel, apply a minimum of 5 inches of any Schluter thin set mortar or an unmodified thin set mortar to the curdy board. Apply mortar using the flat side of the trowel and then comb additional mortar over the area where the curdy band is to be installed. The thin set mortar is mixed to a fairly fluid consistency but still able to hold a notch. Apply curdy band and embed the membrane into the mortar and curdy fix to ensure full coverage. Make sure you have two inch overlaps at all seams. This process of embedding the curdy band into the curdy fix and thin set mortar is repeated around the entire bathtub. When the bathtub has a thin flange, completely fill the one quarter inch wide gap with curdy fix. Then apply the thin set mortar and finally the curdy band. Immediately after the waterproofing around the tub deck is complete, carefully remove the painter's tape. 
All curdy board joints, corners, and fastener penetrations must be sealed with curdy band. Again, a two inch overlap is required at these areas. Curdy Seal PS is used to seal protrusions through the curdy board at the tub spout and shower head. Curdy Seal MV is used at the mixing valve. When transitioning to drywall, curdy band, in conjunction with thin set mortar, is appropriate to maintain waterproof integrity while also providing a transition at this joint. Corner bead can be used when transitioning at corners, such as partition walls. In our installation, we are installing curdy band in this area. We will finish this corner with a Schluter profile to protect the edges of our tile and to provide a clean finish. The curdy board kit installation is now complete. The bathtub surround is waterproof and ready for tile. When the curdy board kit is used with an acrylic shower pan, the process for installation is the same. Depending on the type of flange on the shower pan, the board can either be abutted flush with the top of the flange or notched and installed one quarter inch above the pan as shown previously. The boards can be mounted horizontally to cover the shower area and fastened with the supplied screws and washers. Remember, the vertical edges of each panel must be positioned over the center of a stud or other solid backing. Add support if required. Waterproofing is completed as shown previously. Use curdy fix with thin set mortar and curdy band to seal the curdy board to the shower pan. Then use more curdy band, curdy seal PS, and curdy seal MV to seal all seams, fastener penetrations, and pipe protrusions. The curdy board kit installation in a shower application is now complete and ready for tile. To replace sealant joints and protect tile edges, consider the use of Schluter profiles, such as Dial X AS. Another option would be the Dial X BWA profile. These profiles provide a clean and maintenance-free finishing touch to bathtub and shower surrounds. If tile is to be set on adjacent floors, consider the use of the Schluter DITRA uncoupling and waterproofing membrane, which can be sealed to the Schluter shower system to provide comprehensive waterproofing in the bathroom. Please visit schluter.com for more product information and to view our installation videos and handbooks.